Hey Internet, my name is Zebby and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today it's another tutorial video, this time I will cover the action groups. I've came across um, some other YouTubers who were new to the game and they were all uncertain about the action group system and haven't used it and so I start to think maybe other, U um, other Kerbal Space Program players um, are also unfamiliar with this action group system and don't know what to do with it, so today it's a little tutorial how to use it. At first let me introduce my small rocket here. I've attached um, four solar panels and if I want to deploy all of them I have to click each of them and click on extend panel and the panel extend and do it for um, every um, solar panel I have. This takes some time, it's a little bit annoying if you have a lot of solar panels and you have to move around your rocket and search for the things, have to uh, find the appropriate menu and so on. Um, there's also another method and that the action groups. You can um, map all these functions to a key of your keyboard and just by pressing the key you deploy all of your uh, um, solar panels and yeah, you don't have the trouble of uh, searching them, selecting them, activating them. You can do everything at once using one key. How you assign your action groups I will show you in the VIB. So bear with me and come over and head over to the VIB over there and there I want uh, will you show how you can um, assign your action groups. Okay, we are back at the VAB, or better in the VAB. Um, as I told you, there's a better option um, how you can interact with your different items and um, align with them without having to activate them uh, manually. Uh, and that's the action groups. If you look above here, you have three buttons you can press. One is um, for the assembly uh, building, so you can assemble new parts. The next one are the action groups and the third one is to select your crew. Um, we want to do some action groups. So if we press this button you can see over here the different action groups you can uh, map to the uh, functions of your uh, spacecraft. As you can see here stage means your spacebar. If you press your spacebar you um, use your next stage gear is deploy your gear, uh, normally a map to the G key on your keyboard, light, RCS, SAS, brakes, abroad and so on. The custom keys are mapped to your key, um, to your number keys at your keyboard. So if you're pressing uh, the 1, you're activating action group custom 1, if you're pressing 2, custom 2 and so on. So let's try to um, combine our aircraft, uh, our spacecraft with some action groups. I will map the um, solar panels to the action group 1. So I click on the action group. Afterwards I click on the part I want to add to our my action group. And after this we see here in the selection part um, the uh, solar panels and the options I can do with the solar panels. I can extend it, I can retract it, or I can toggle it. If I toggle it, um, it will extend it at the first um, use, and in the second use it will retract it again. So we have both functions um, into one. And what I want to do is toggle the solar panels. Additionally, I want to use my um, two key and um, extend the ladder, but I also want to retract the ladder, so I have to toggle the ladder. Fine. Um, I can also include some functions, uh, maybe if I turn SAS on, I can also uh, say by turning SAS on I want to extend my ladder for some reason or I want to deploy my solar panels. Um, yeah, let's try it out and um, map also the ladder to our um, SAS and also say toggle ladder. Okay, you can also um, combine things like, um, wait, let me add another another light to my spacecraft to um, show it to you. You can also, um, only one, you can also um, combine different items at the same time. So if I want to deploy, um, extend my ladder, 
I want also to switch on my light so I can activate the light and say toggle light also combined to the custom 2. This means now I have in this group action my uh, ladder and I have the uh, light and both are switched on the same time or switched off the same time. The next important or the next interesting part I want to show you is the abort action group. The abort action group you see also in your uh, screen during flights when you um, hover your mouse over this um, exclamation mark you see the abort key and if you press this one this will activate the action group here. So what I want to do is to have my uh, separatons fire at the same time what I can shut down the engine? Um, I don't believe it. So I want to t um, toggle the engine or better activate engine. So um, I activate them if I'm when I press the abort key and I also want to um, decouple at this part so I say decouple. Now if I use the abort key my spacecraft should, uh, should pr uh, hopefully uh, decouple here our uh, um, capsule and after and fire the same time our separatrons to move us away from the um, original spacecraft. Um, unfortunately the action groups don't have any timer so I can't say after the separate horns are burned out you do another thing so I um, will use the third key or the three key on my keyboard to do another action group to complete my aborts action. I will um, also eject my um, abort tower or my rescue tower by decoupling it and afterwards I will deploy all my parachutes to have a safe landing. Okay, so now we have it here. Um, let's test it out and I'll show you that everything's hopefully work out fine. So let's save it and head back over to the launch pad again. See you there. And we're back at the launch pad. Here, after we have successfully mapped our um, action groups to our key bindings, I will show you how it's working out. So, if I'm pressing the one key, we can see that all of our four uh, solar panels are deployed at once and we don't have to care about clicking at each of them and um, deploy it manually so we just have to press one key and everything is done for us in um, in a several second without bothering to um, search for each element of our rocket. And if I press the key again you can see um, our solar panels are retracting again. The next thing is our uh, light and the ladder. If I press the 2 key, the light switches on. Um, you can see uh, the ground is a little bit brighter and our ladder is uh, extending. So if I press the key again, the light switches off and the ladder ex uh, retracts again. I've also mapped to the um, SAS key, if I enable the SAS, to um, extend the ladder and if I disable the SAS the ladder will be retracted again so if I enable SAS you can see the um, ladder is coming out and going down and if I disable SAS the ladder is retracting again. I don't know why it's um, useful but uh, well it's nice to show to you. So the next thing is the abort key I've already said um, it's this exclamation mark you can see here if you hover over your altimeter and if you press it our um, action group we have defined for this key um, will be carried out. So let's give it a practical test. Throttle up and switch on the SAS and extend the ladder and here we go. I've messed up the staging, so we are wrong. Um, yeah, here we go. And well, we are climbing up and climbing up, and suddenly we have a problem like our rocket is um, shifting over, and we don't can and we can't control it anymore. So we want to abort. So let's press the key, and as you can see decoupled and the separatrons are doing its work. Okay, now we've 
successfully escaped from the um, unstable rocket and the next thing is I have assigned the tree key for deployment of the parachutes and ejecting the rescue tower. Let's press it and as you can see um, the tower is ejected and falls apart and the parachutes are deployed. Now our brave uh, Jabodira is safe again and will return to us unharmed and here we don't have to um, have um, the problem of dying Kermans or anything like this if we prepare our uh, abort button. Okay, that's all you need to know to um, have a good use of the action groups. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you do so, please become a subscriber or um, like my videos or in uh, best case do best, uh, both of these things. Here, my name is Abby. Until next time, see you!